good evening everyone today we are going to learn about the board uh, what is the board okay the board this term refers to uh, some aloe flowering plants which are uh, which have been documented uh, which ha which have a documented history of use as a blue dye and also medicinal plant they can uh, they are known to be able to stop bleeding so that's why they have been very popular among people since ancient times and uh, britons used to paint their faces uh, with blue dye extracted from the uh, extracted from the wood to frighten their enemies okay in addition to uh, all this uh, also these plants uh, let's uh, uh, try to acquire some more information and some more understanding of these plants these plants belong to the family brassicacea mustard cab cabbage or cruciferi uh, these plants grow in abundance uh, in the countries such as the uk steppe and desert zones of caucasus central asia to eastern siberia and western asia western north america southeastern and central europe now that we have uh, understood what is the wood so let's uh, try to expand our understanding of this of these plants this word if you uh, read if you uh, look up a dictionary you will find this word spelled in this way w o a d this is how this word is spelled in, in a dictionary and uh, now let's proceed uh, to acquire an understanding of how this word is pronounced in the uk and in the us this word uh, you will find a slight difference in the way this word is pronounced in britain and in america okay so to understand that first we need to examine these sets of symbols carefully okay if you take a careful look at these sets of symbols you will find that w here stands for the sound w this is this symbol stands for the sound s so. this sim this symbol stands for the sound u and this symbol stands for the sound d so in or it becomes vowed vowed so this is how this word is pronounced in the uk in the uk this pronounced is this word is pronounced as vowed whereas if we talk about the way it's pronounced in america you will find uh, let's take a careful look at this set of symbols here in this case w stands for w stands for the uh, sound w o stands for the sound o who this symbol this symbol stands for the sound who and this symbol stands for the sound d so in or it becomes wo wo so in america this word is pronounced wo whereas in the uk it's pronounced wo that's all.